Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. In this video, we're going to see how we can take a super simple product shot like this, done with a Lazy Susan, into something looking like this, done with a new filmmaking tool from Digital Photo. And I'm talking here about the 360 spin table from Digital Photo. It is a pretty nice little tool for your filmmaking journey where you can do all kind of cool things. A very quick disclaimer of course here is that the, this product were not sent to me by Digital Photo. I bought this with my own money so this is 100% my own opinion about the product and what I think about it. So um, it's um, a pretty simple build actually um, and there's not a lot of things in the back or in the box you get. Uh, actually, it contains of a base plate, which is a metal construction plate. We have a pole and also we have this plate here where you can put your product. And then we have a rail system, which is clamped to this middle thing, which is spinning around a weight. And also we have this attachment here where we can put in the included background, a black background you can put here. Also, there is a, instead of this video head that I actually added in after testing it out yesterday, there is this small little ball head. And I think that is okay if you're using a smaller uh, DSLR or something like that, but I'm using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Um, so in this case, I feel more secure uh, in this way. And um, also all of this can be connected but just by using one Allen key. And that's for the metal plate here, just to screw this into this metal plate here. So we can very quickly have a little go here on um, how things would look. You know, and the most obvious thing would be to do a 360 spin around your object. But you can do other things as well. So we can have a little take on that here. Let's say we're going to, let's do like this and we can have this little orbit around our object like that which is pretty cool I'm going to stop that also um, we can actually add in the backdrop because um, if you're in a studio like this you are most likely having junk all around um, the room and um, well at least that's what we have here small studio a lot of equipment around not interesting to actually look at so we can put in this backdrop here and it's just a wooden plate what do you think it's uh, it's nice nice enough at least so we are going to have a uh, background here all around we're just going to I'm just going to zoom in a bit here adjust the focus so now we have this let's start recording and uh, we can just spin around just like that Pretty cool. Of course, we could also do some slow-mo if we wanted to. And then when you're doing slow-mo, you might as well just push it a little bit harder to make it more smooth. Well, there we go. A super nice way to do some cool shots, I think. Looking good. So, so of course, you could also... Um, do something about the background. I think we could uh, kind of DIY the background as well. At least that's what we're going to try. So in one second I'll be back with my DIY solution for this and see if it works. Let's go. Okay so here I just did a super quick DIY of a, um, of a um, blue background. It's just actually it's just cardboard and uh, I bought like a bigger cardboard here on the back. It's not super stable, but I think it will work. And then I just used the original plate as a, um, as a supplement to the new one. And this will also make the, the surface of your background bigger. And I just clamped it up here because that is out of shot anyway. But this is also going to give me the ability to shoot a little wider when I'm this close. And I can do some adjustments, something like that. Pretty nice. Um, 
something like that. So now we have a shot like this done, it's totally DIY. Again, the shadows for this are not optimized for shooting uh, because all the lights are more or less made for me and not necessarily for the product shot I'm doing right here. So there we go. So overall, I think this is a um, pretty smart device. Uh, the price of the complete set here is 500 bucks. And of course that is also a chunk of money. And um, if you don't want to use money on the product itself or the setup, I'm sure you could DIY this in some sense, but you know how it is when you do DIY stuff. Sometimes it's just very much nicer to have something that looks professional and you know it's going to last. For instance, if you're doing a shoot and you have a client, you might want to have something like this instead of something you've done out of wood and um, combined together with C-stands and clamps and whatnot. And again, you can make more or different backgrounds or you can tidy up your space because sometimes the background around is actually also interesting. However, when we're doing product sets like this, this would be optimal, I think. Also, you could change the color into a green screen and you could just key out everything. That is also a possibility with this little device here. So overall, I like this product. I'm happy that I bought it and um, if you're doing product shot on a regular basis, this will come in handy because it's a pretty easy setup and this can be stored away in the corner somewhere when you're not using it and then just bring it on a table or on the floor, doesn't really matter. It's, uh, it's pretty good, I think. And also if you are doing review videos and you need to do some quick shots, this is just a very fast way to do some interesting moving shots. Also, I think this is uh, it, it does something else than a Lazy Susan, which is also nice, but I mean, you can't really beat this 360 spin around a product. I think this is super cool and um, it has a lot of different ways you can use it. So overall, um, I think this is a great product. I'm happy that I bought it and uh, I can't wait to do more stuff with it than I already did. So here is just um, some test shots I did using the 360 spin table from Digital Photo. And um, well, I hope you enjoy that sample because it's coming up right now. And you know what? I'll see you in the next video. See ya.